and welcome back to the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I am your host, Forklift Certified Gambling on IG, with my co-host, Cam the G. Dude, it's week 11. Week 11, y'all. It is flying by. It's going to be over before we know it, but I'm we're taking it in while we week. can. I'm really happy about this. Man, yeah, we got, got a juiced up slate this week. This We've been staring at these lines all week. We've been getting it, getting to it early, and we're trying to bring y'all the best numbers. So, shit, a little, little recap from last week. How do we do? Um, I went 2-1. I went two and one. Two and uh, I'm a little sad. The week. Titans kind of, kind of. Eh. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I'm not gonna say I was betting emotionally or nor I was betting with my pride. I, I was betting was. with the fact that I had a little bit of faith in Levis. But until he proves it a little bit more than that, I mean, I don't think I can rock with him. Yeah. I mean, don't Baker, know, don't know, don't know. Baker, unfortunately, baked. At least not the sexy six pack. Yeah, we gotta stay Actually, off the Titans a Sunday for a little six bit. Pack now. Sunday six pack, yeah, sexy six pack. Go um, back, go back to season one. What you know about the sixty seven? Yeah, the real followers, let us know in the comments how long know. y'all been rocking with us, man. This is our second year at it. We appreciate y'all for rocking with us. Thank you. Uh, man, came a long right. way. Executive producer Mo in the background. Shout out Cam the G, Forklift Certified Gambler, man. We came a long way, and we can't do it without y'all, man. Appreciate Thank y'all, y'all, y'all for supporting us. Uh, yeah, man, four and two was the story. Um. Who who hit who hit for you last week? Titans couldn't. I was come say up for Titans it. couldn't hit. I'm I'm actually at a lapse of brain. Right Jordan now. Blake Morgan. Who do we have last week on the six pack? Uh, Tennessee money line. I want to say I had the money line that didn't miss, and then who else? I, Minnesota smashed. Indy minus one. Oh yeah, Indy, Indy minus and Min- one. Yeah, yeah, Indy and Minnesota. You had to get up early for that one, but that was, was um, never in doubt. No, it was Vegas. Vegas, yeah, Vegas. that's what Vegas it was. was yeah. minus one. Indy was minus one point five. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Really I was gonna say it was the Vikings, the no, no, Raiders. No, 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 no. Well, that was in the money line. It was the Raiders, the Colts, and Tits. Yep. I had uh, um drawing a blank. Who well, Morgan, Morgan, who'd I have in the six pack? We also had Cincy. I know you put Cincy. Cincy yeah. Five. The, yeah. Uh, Cincy, I mean that kind of looked dead in the water. Houston's been looking electric. Cleveland. Uh, Plus Cleveland, yeah, they uh, Deshaun Watson covered. was off a of perky and he and came back had the half of his life. Everybody, everybody needs to give Mr. Forklift Certified Gambling his credits. He was right. Tommy DeVito I is to indeed a mob implant. In Heard it here, folks. Uh, Tommy DeVito throwing games, man. It's his job. <laughs> He's we'll going see, home, we'll getting his laundry done by his mom. I don't think he is. Yeah, Tommy oh, DeVito. Oh, he's going to move to Dell. The moods are down. We've been on some random pinch uh, lately here on the podcast. <laughs> so, you know, we had to uh, fade Tommy DeVito last week in a cash, man. I told y'all Dallas by 17. Dallas alternating money line. I told y'all that would have covered in the first half. So, 2-1 and one on the week. Uh, went 2-3 went and three on the round robin. I was say, eh, we, we, we cashed out made it right back. Yeah, 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 broke even basically. Um, Thursday night, we had a, what an zero and three night. That Panthers yeah, game. Yeah, Thursday was probably in Chicago. That was a bad fucking game. Thursday. Sorry. I mean, I don't know what it is about these prime times, but it's been hard to get we'll, on. We'll, the, we'll figure it out eventually on these Thursdays. I will take responsibility for Beanie Boy Badgett. Yeah. That was my ah. shitty booty pick. That was my shitty booty pick. I apologize. Okay. Apologize. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, we had a good Sunday night. The uh, prop cash. Monday night, I think we won one and two, so. I had kind of a bad week in prime time, but four and two, we've been getting it back up. We're over 500 now. We're, uh, last time I checked, like, 31 <laughs> and 29 on the Sunday six pack, so. We're in the black. I mean, that, I'm batting 500. Cameron, two games over 500 right now, so. Just we're bringing two. all these picks. We had to bring Gotta it to y'all up. this week. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit different this turn week. Up and so we're going to run through all the games, go through the slates real quick, just touch on games real quick that we like, and then we'll get into the Sunday six-pack and bring you all top three each. So first game we got on the list, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. It's at plus one now. Deshaun Watson's out. DTR is supposed to be the quarterback. I got Pittsburgh at plus four, but uh, I wouldn't mind taking Pittsburgh, but plus one, a lot of the value that kind of got sucked out. Um, Detroit, Chicago. Detroit's laying seven and a half. Any thoughts? Um. Well, my first thought about the first game is um. Well, it comes the question about the Browns, right? All you Browns fans, look me in the eyes. You ready? Are dog y'all historically pound. dog pounding in the dog pound? Because I know this line is going to flip. You guys are going to become the underdogs. 
The underdogs in the AFC historically hit That's this what I'm season. worried about. And I'm I thinking, like Pittsburgh, I, that's but... just my thought process. Plus, the other side of it is, that this past half season, you guys are known to just go, Phew. Yeah, DT all <laughs> kind of dog shit. Um, Turn into I don't know why flames. they didn't go PJ Walker. So, I don't know if there's an injury. Look but... me in the eyes. Dog pound. Answer. Dog pound. Let me know in the comments what's going on because, uh, yeah, no, I think Kenny Pickett's got it, Lindsay, y'all. Yeah, I mean, every Hot time tip. the AFC North has a game, they Hot always tip. go back and forth, so. Um, but then when it comes to Detroit, Detroit, I think Detroit can easily do it. They got a dynamic backfield. Dynamic. <laughs> Jared Goff back is chasing field. the Jared record. Goff chasing the record, like he's saying. Um, Only person to, like, what, be, cover the spread within his own conference eight times back to 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 back Let's see who we go. We got, what else we got? We got LA, LA Chargers going to Green going Bay. To Green Bay. LA, LA Lane, Lane three. 3. Oh, wow. We're going over here. Going back to back. Yeah, here. no I thoughts. Know. I know, right? Twin, you owe me a soda. No, um, let me get in on this. Ready? We got Las Vegas going to Miami. Miami lying 13 and a half? Yeah, that was a big number. It started at what? Like 10 and a half Ooh, on Monday? Yeah, you get it at yeah. 10 and a half. Maybe that, was... that looks a little bit good, but 13? Ooh, I don't know. We'll hmm. see. We'll see. We'll New see. York Giants, Washington. Washington's laying nine and a half. Ron Rivera, one in nine in his career against um, yeah, he's kind of historic. New York runs against New York Giants. So, um, not too many thoughts on that game. Tennessee at Jacksonville. Tennessee's getting seven points. Yeah. Gotta stay off the tits. For As I day. said earlier, I mean, I like. We I, gotta I stay like, off the tits. I like for them. We got, always gotta tighten up, but got, Dallas we'll goes to Carolina. Um, you think Dallas can lay ten and a half? I mean, honestly, yeah, but something about this game scaring me off. J.C. Horn's supposed to come back. Uh, Dallas doesn't really beat up on teams on the road like that, so we'll see. But I mean, see. they just historically beat up on bad teams, though. They do, they do. But and I'd argue the Carolina Panthers <clears throat> might be Dak the on the worst road team. Is a lot different than Dak at home. I know it's that's facts. The Panthers, no, that's facts. You got a point. Something about that game scaring me off. A lot of money coming in on Carolina. Uh, a lot of public bets, of course, on Dallas. So, oh, um, like that too. Let's see here. Arizona, Texas. That should be a hell of a game. In Houston, uh, CJ Stroud's kind of looking like that guy. I mean, you got the Jets going to Buffalo. Yeah, that could be a good game. I mean, Josh a- Allen after kind of that game last Monday. night. Um, the Bills fired their offensive coordinator. Yeah, the no Bills. No more Ken Dorsey. So, who? who? <laughs> I saw this thing out Tom, there. Not Tom Brady. Hold up. You might like this one. I saw this Joe thing Brady. out there. Joe Brady. And it said, oh, wait. Ken Dorsey's out there. All the Matt, all this, all the Pittsburgh fans go. Matt Canada with the bag goes, grabs it, throws it, goes, get out of here. See you later, Matt. Ken Dorsey, we got to. Yeah, I don't one. know how Matt Canada still has a job. <laughs> I'm Ken just Dorsey's saying, I don't know. Streets. Ken Dorsey's um, out there now. Matt Canada, you might, can't even you get mad at Ken Dorsey like that. I mean, sweating. Josh Allen throws three picks. What are you gonna? You can't even put that on the OC. <laughs> you, so you um, can't, you can't. shaking it up in Buffalo. I kind of like New York getting seven points there. Uh, Seattle going to the Rams. Rams I mean, huh? Sean Seattle kind of by old. one. Ha- by yeah. one. Yeah. Gino may be fraudulent. We'll see Shaq how. We'll see how Gino it might be one of those days. He might write back, folks. Um, let's see here. Minnesota, Denver. That's a good Sunday night game. At first, I was looking at it and I was like, "Is this the shit show of the week?" But now that I dive a little bit more into it, it's kind of looking like a good game. We I mean, we got a astronaut versus the man, the myth, the legend. Let him cook. Broncos country. That's right. Oh, um, <laughs> that's looking to be like a good I'm game. I'm going to be in a meme right now. Denver's laying two and a half. <laughs> uh, <laughs> curious on that line. Um, Monday night, hell of a game. Oh, almost missed San Francisco. I'm laying saying, 11 and a half you against can't forget San Fran. Tampa Bay. That would be a good game in San Francisco. And then for our Monday night, <laughs> cap it all off. Phillies going to Kansas City. Kansas City's laying two and a half right now. That folks. should be fingers crossed. Game of the year. Game Hopefully of the year besides over. Super Bowl. Can we get a prime time over, folks? They've been cashing. We've been That'll wishing. be a good game. We've been wishing. I I want to hit. It'll probably be a prime time under. But um, we already know it's going to be like a fourteen yeah. twenty one game. Maybe actually, if it's a three point spread, like overtime. 21-17 Chiefs. 24 I don't know. Question mark. We'll get to it, folks, but we got to bring you all the Sunday six-pack. Camera lead it off. Who's your first pick? Well, you know they're coming off the buys. we got to put things well up, baby. Put them up by two yes, scores. Sir. I mean, 
I heard this stat earlier this year. Miami doesn't. Miami home at home wins by fourteen or more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I mean they playing against the Raiders. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we I'm all up hyped up in Antonio Pierce, Pierce, but I'm just they saying. beat up on two bad teams. Two bad teams versus Tyreek Hill. Who's stopping that? Yeah, Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle coming back. This. Mostert's looking healthy. Waddle's A-chain looking healthy. A chain. Who forgot about Jeff Wilson Jr. Yeah. I'm just Jalen saying. Jalen Ramsey healthy. Who um, stopping this yeah. offense other than Max Crosby? He's one guy on the defensive line. Yeah. If they can scheme something up to much. stop Max. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Miami. Miami by, by 14. Dude, the cool cornrows, the too. But the yeah. cornrows maybe even sprinkle on, like, what is it, Miami by 20? Yeah, Miami altering the spread. I mean, they could probably cover 12 and a half in the first half like Dallas did last week. So Easy. I'm confident in it, man. Uh, they beat up on bad teams at home, and Tua can't beat a team that's over 500. The Raiders are right at 500. Lock it in, folks. Miami by 12 and a half. We're laying a big spread this week. I got mm-hmm. another big spread for you. You know, I'm a 49er faithful, man. San Francisco by 11 and a half. Tampa's coming to town. They're not going to do nothing. Baker's not going to bake twice in a week. Two times. And for the most part, the Niners have been looking healthy. Trent's back. The secondary's looking a little bit more healthy. Uh, Debo's back, CMC. Brandon Ayuk, man, it's going to be hard to stop them guys. So Niners by Millie. Niners laying the spread. If you want to throw the Niners in a little teaser, maybe buy down on seven points. Hit up my cousin this week and said that's the play. You got to rock with the Niners, <laughs> 11 and a half. Rocking with the Niners, everything, man. Bang, uh, bang, Niner game. Bang, bang, Niner game, man. Cameron, what you got for your next one? I mean, CJ Stroud looking good. CJ's kind of looking like that guy. Like, there's a lot of been, people been talking about CJ might be MVP candidate. He's kind of like carrying that team on his back, folks. I mean, he's making Tank Dell, Nico Collins, um, he's making people Robert you ain't Woods. never heard he's looking before look like good. stars, guys. You ain't never he's heard of him. He's turning Edel Nut into Edel Men the same way Tom Brady did. Man, CJ is that guy. He's he's just electric. The Panthers fucked up and they got the wrong guy, man. They but yeah, with Texans CJ. minus four and a half. I think I'm going to sprinkle a lot more than just a unit or two on that one. Because that might be a big bang. Call of Duty came out last week. Mm-hmm. Kyler Murray, kind of mid. Mm-hmm. I mean. I was trying to find angles to get on Arizona early in the week. I mean, besides the fact that, back yeah. To Texas is just those guys. Texas I mean, is kind of good. They're healthy. They got a good old line. Um, and sneakily. Will Anderson kind of been good. That Texas D line looking a little bit more stout. Uh, I'm just saying, I think that I think they could stop him because I mean, you stop Marquise Brown. What else they got? I mean, Connor's coming back, but a good D line. That's what. So you know the only stop, person they in people. that uh, Cardinals receiving room that's over five nine is Trey McBride. He's like six seven, but Marquise Brown, uh, Rondell Moore, are you talking all about, five nine? Are you talking about Titans legend Trey McBride? Uh, Trey McBride. The tight end? No. Different Trey McBride. Oh, gets going. Hey, what you got Just next? Lock it in. Uh, man, Sunday night, Denver by two and a half. Russ kind of been cooking lately. Russ hasn't been the problem this year. We've Russ? said it multiple times on. I know, bro. You gotta okay. let him cook. Okay. You gotta let him cook. You don't the think the pastor not can show up? He can, man. If I lose this bet, like, it is gonna be a fun game to watch. I mean, Josh Dobbs. He's just a funny guy to root for. Everybody wants to get on him. He's getting a lot of public money. Minnesota's been a fun team this year. I might but even argue maybe even over. That Denver defense, ooh, I don't know, a prime time over? Josh Dobbs and Russ? Do- we talk about- I'm just saying Dobbs consistently puts up 20 to 30 points. True. Russ, when he wins, puts up 20 to 30 points. That's yeah. like 40 to 50, um, if you ask me. God, folks, I've asked him a lot, but it, it could really if happen. If it's a good game, it could happen. We were talking I'm just about saying. this is going to be a shitty booty Open game. Your mind, the more we look into it, like it's going to be a pretty pretty fun game to watch. I think Russ is going to be able to cook, man. Uh, get him under a field goal. There's been some reverse line movement on him. It's going to be a fun, fun. And this Denver Broncos defense has been stepped up. They're historically bad for the first six weeks. Oh, yeah. Around. I was going to say, the they've past three weeks, they turned it up. Pat Sertan, Kareem Jackson, all them guys in the secondary. Hey, did you know Kareem 
Lamar Jackson's under four game suspension with a half a million dollar fine. No shit, damn. Three consecutive. What do you do? Oh, for targeting, wasn't it? Three yeah. Consecutive targeting calls. Mm-hmm. Four game suspension, Tough. half a million dollars. Half a million, that's, folks. That's for the suspension fine. That's not counting the fine for. How many games hit. has he been out already? Uh, this would be his first week, I believe. Okay. Last week was when he received his last targeting call to get suspension. But he has to pay 500000 along with his suspension. That doesn't count the thirty and $50,000 fines he got for each hit. Yeah, screen so he's got 30 or 50 for all three hits and uh, then 500 on top. They're going to that man's pockets. That is... He's playing hard nosed football and they don't like it. Hot take, hot take, camera. Hot, 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 hot. Hey, I gotta get, I gotta get back on track. Super hot take. Actually, this is statistically backed, but like the Rams own Seattle. Yeah, yeah. McVay owns. Um, like he has, what do you say, Seattle, six and zero? Yes, in the last six games, he's six and zero against the spread. So McVay just for some reason always schemes up something against division rivals. Has six and zero against the spread. Six knows the dream. So why don't we go ahead and take this spread? Yeah, Rams. Take them at one. plus one. Why not even sprinkle on the money line? Because I mean, if you, li- if you lose by places. less than one, that means like you probably won, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a good train of thought. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Either you tied or you less. Or I mean, I don't know how many ties. I mean, I know we had one tie at yo, least last year. No, we had two ties. That Washington, we did have New two York ties game. last game. And we ain't talking that into anyways, existence. Yep, no, 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 no. Not ties, but take the plus one. I'm gonna take, take the, the plus one. The money line, sprinkle a little Stafford's bit on Stafford's back. Hit it with it. Um, <laughs> my last pick for the Sunday six pack. Gotta wait all the way until Monday night, man. There's gonna be a sweat. There's gonna be a long week, folks. Kansas City by two and a half. Kansas City at home. Off extended rest, off a bye. Can man, Andrew Reid's gonna scheme something up. No He's way they don't fix it. No way they don't fix it. Exactly. Patrick Mahomes was a like. little, little banged up. I had the flu. Mm-hmm. Took the bye, and mm-hmm. now guess who's coming to town? Ooh. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. The lead Taylor is Swift's back. Games. Yeah, Denver by two and a half. I mean, folks. Taylor Swift back. I mean, you might as well go ahead and sprinkle some money on Kent, like. Travis Kelsey hitting 400 yeah. yards. Mr. Goodell could not bear to see Mrs. Swift shed a tear over her baby boy Travis losing a game. Exactly. Exactly. Kansas City by oh. two and a half is a cash. Like, there's nothing. Don't come at us with these. I know Philly's been looking like those guys this week, but I mean, Reed knows how to scheme something up. So I'm confident in laying the two and a half, minus 115. That's that sweet. is the Sunday six pack, man. You know, we had to bring y'all the. Fuck! Ah! Of the week. Um, came out of nowhere. Holy shit. Yeah, that? money line round robin. We're back to oh, it, y'all. Shit. We cashed a couple last week. The Browns cash is a big dog for us. Uh, Let's see. We got a lot of big dogs this week. Let's start off first. Giants money line. I was going to say, you got the Giants money line plus 350, something like that. I mean, historically owns Ron Rivera. Yeah. <laughs> minus um, nine and a half spread. If you don't have the balls to put the money line on it, might as well go ahead and put it on the spread. But, I mean, come on now. Yeah. That, I think it's like plus 350, so bring your Wilbur out for this one, folks. This is probably one of the bigger bring it out. round robins we dropped this week. Bring your Wilburos out, folks. Tennessee, money line. I mean, I said I couldn't Getting get on points them. to Jacksonville. We had to get it him somewhere I couldn't in there. get on them. We had to get I, it somewhere in there. I mean, I could put him in the round robin, right? Exactly. I mean, just a little, just, just, it's just it's a little something, up. right? Yeah. It's a fuck it. Like, come on. It's a fuck it. Like, All right. A lot of underdogs this week. The Jets, I mean... They beat they beat the Bills last time. Josh that. Allen's been hot ass. They got, he got to get a new offensive coordinator, mm-hmm. learn a new playbook. I think it's all going to be too much for him. I think the Jets are live dogs in here. They're getting a big number. I, I don't think they switch play calls in the middle of the year. I think they ride with that mid offensive coordinator playbook, and then next season and off season is when they install. But then why fire Ken Dorsey? Why would you fire him if you don't change it? What do you gain? You just changed per- Guys, you- I know this is not a stat you'll know off the top of your head, but what was the last team to fire off the coordinator and change offense in the middle of the year? You just don't do that. Uh, the uh, Colts just did I it. The they got I, I don't even remember his name. Colts, fucking the, Frank Reich is called him through. Through. Jeff Saturday. No, yes. I'm talking about this year. Oh, this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Frank Reich's the coach in Indianapolis, but fucking mm-hmm. they got a new play caller now, so. I don't know his name, but I think he was like a one and done. So I've just known from yeah. my own personal research experience, 
most of the time when they fire a coordinator in the middle of the season, they don't change playbook. I mean, even then, that makes me feel better because Josh, Josh Allen just goes to the fucking defense. So I'm confident in throwing the Jets in there. Let's be honest. Pittsburgh in there. I would say Pittsburgh. Yeah, there. Pittsburgh's ro- we're rocking with Pittsburgh this week. Go ahead, take the points if you really want to. It didn't make it in the contest, but I still got some money on the plus four. I'll probably sprinkle on the plus one. And I said the Rams are in there, right? The Rams are in I'm there. Say, too. I said that and earlier. You know, what am so I missing? What am I missing? Giants, Tennessee, New York Jets, Pittsburgh, Los Angeles Rams. That's five, folks. That's the five to keep it alive. We've been historically like two and three in these round robins, but this is the week. It is a big, big dogs, and we got a lot coming for y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking through. through. We're getting through it, man. We're barely over 500 right now, and we're just now getting there. We're trying to turn around for the rest of the season, folks, and shit. It's been a ride. I mean, it's grind time. I mean, this this is, I mean, what they say? Gym, gym. Yeah. Speaking (laughs) of prime time, we're fucking sweating these props out. Make sure to follow the Instagram for Thursday Night Exclusive Props. Okay, Make sure to follow Twitter. the Instagram and the Twitter. I'll link them down below. DJ and Burner account for the Twitter slash X, whatever you call it. It'll always be Twitter. I'm an old head. Yeah, he, he's a tweet bird. Yeah. Oh, um, isn't there another one out there called like TikTok? Yeah, we got a TikTok out there. Four yeah. certified gambler. Make sure to check us out. We drop Monday Night Exclusive Props on there. Get down um, into the comments. Get down there. So, this has been the Forklift Certified Gambling Podcast. I am your host, Forklift Certified Gambling, with my co-host, Cam the G. Executive producer, Mo in the background. Appreciate it, y'all. Shout out. Yeah. Peace. Doses. <laughs>